German enterprises are facing a wave of disruption. Not only are technology and society changing, but the whole country's economic DNA is undergoing a transformation. We at Deloitte have developed four scenarios of what this transformation might feel like. Let's take four distinct perspectives on what the German enterprise landscape could look like in 2030. Integrated Platform Provider Hi, I'm Peter. I'm proud to be working for a large German mobility provider, which is what car makers have evolved into, if you like. As a student, developing software was my thing. So in this job, I have to stretch myself every day, as the main emphasis of my role is on developing software-based customer experiences. We have all evolved from being the legendary German engineers to being humble solution designers. Just imagine the faces of my colleagues at this once mighty car maker. My team consists of colleagues from different departments and across the entire value chain. Many joined us from smaller companies that did not make it in the global platform market. The good news is that the general level of skill in the country is good. Talent with the right skill focus from respected universities is abundantly available. Then again, older colleagues have trouble finding a landing place in this new world. My company tries to soften the blow by setting up lifelong learning programs. My daily work routine is fully digital, in line with the rest of our day-to-day -day life in Germany. That turn of events was not obvious 10 years ago. We all had to invest significantly in building up a digital infrastructure and had to accept the new rules of the game, which was painful at times. But now, I really identify with my job. I work for a global market leader that has a strong home base. In our industry, we set standards for the rest of the world. Specialized front runners. Hi, my name is Mia. I work for a medical device manufacturer, a small niche player with highly innovative products and services. My employer is part of a big national alliance of healthcare providers that aims to offer integrated solutions. Oh my, this alliance is painful. We spend years making the various standards compatible, but it is the only way forward. The largest player in the market just went bankrupt. They made a huge investment in a connected care solution platform that never paid off. Such ideas are just too costly and too complex for a single enterprise to manage. Our alliance launched an integrated offering and all participants now share the competitive advantage. However, if I am honest, I am envious of some of our alliance partners who have become specialists in the vanguard of their segment and are experiencing global demand for their products and services. In my engineering department, we spend most of our R&D budget on fulfilling compatibility requirements, a boring yet tricky task. New talent is drawn from inside our company. We retrain and upskill them since other departments have experienced many job cuts in recent years. But I really don't want to complain. With that alliance, I hope that we will be able to compete with our integrated solution at a global level, which would be a step up for us. For far too long, we have been watching from the sidelines. Copycats Hello, my name is Anna. I work for a domestic consumer technology company. My department is called Product Innovation. However, we don't do any innovation in the real sense. As a trend scout, I fly around the world trying to find new goods and services that we can copy and adapt. But our market shares are on the decline because, to be quite honest, we are losing unique IP every day. The latest idea is to work as the extended workbench of integrated globally dominant platform players just to keep the company afloat. 
Even though I travel a lot, my firm is losing global reach and we focus only on the domestic and a few emerging markets. Reduced R&D budgets make my job a vital source of development. Many of our competitors have moved to more business-friendly and technologically advanced markets. We use our scarce financial resources to increase our efficiency. Here, increased automation of processes was the big step. This meant massive layoffs across the board. A lot of my friends lost their jobs. But the future is not bleak for everyone. We urgently need engineers to drive our automation, which is a task our traditional workforce is not trained for. We try to participate in upskill programs offered by public institutions. Some of us smaller competitors can handle the situation better, as they can quickly adapt new technologies and service concepts. Maybe we will be able to replicate their success. The Master Combiner This is Alex. I'm a freelance designer with a background in customer-centric services. Various companies, known and unknown, work with me to combine existing technologies with proven customer-centric offerings. We copy approaches that already exist and focus on integrated, pragmatic offerings by using and applying other market players' portfolios. However, sometimes it's disappointing for me to see how slow we are to adapt new technologies. My clients are constantly trying to expand. They want to leverage economies of scale. The name of the game is to automate more and more processes to achieve efficiency. But this is accompanied by an increasing number of layoffs. The R&D spending of my clients is focused rather on evolution than on revolution. The same could be said about the German workforce as a whole, who are under great pressure from global experts. I did not choose to work as a freelancer. My old company went bankrupt. However, I feel lucky to have turned that corner. Enterprises need pragmatic thinkers with the right skills. People like me. Freelancing gets my foot into their door, as most firms now shy away from high fixed costs. More and more of my clients are smaller, agile players. They adapt more quickly to new technologies and develop novel service concepts. That's their way of competing with the big players. But they have a difficult challenge ahead. Developing integrated solutions is impossible for the small guys. I have come to like my job. It is always a challenge to combine different, existing technologies into customer-centric offerings. These are four different scenarios that show how differently the future for German enterprises might play out. The choices companies make will have an impact on people like Peter, Mia, Anna and Alex. At Deloitte, we observe trends and events happening right now which could take us into any one of these futures. Are you ready to place your bet? <laughs>